Hello, I'm Sherilyn Marilyn with Diva Day International here at Club Kiss Salon and we're with Nadia, the model of the day. And we're going to show you how to do couture makeup, darling. I'm going to start by applying the light brown, utilizing my sponge underneath her eyes. Using the pat formation, this puts my client at ease and also because this is a delicate area, we don't want to harm her eyes. This sets the face for you to go into your next step. And then we're going to come with a dark brown and work. This is where I love the strokes here. As you can see, the, 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 different, the different shades between her real skin tone and also with the application of the makeup that I've just applied and how that relates in what we're going to do. We're creating stronger lines with the contouring. Don't worry if it doesn't, if it looks as if you're marking a face because that's exactly what you're going to do. And today's makeup tutorial is about couture and everything couture is always hot and exciting. We have strong makeup looks, we have strong colors that we use. And this is an area where we can also continue to um, be as creative as we want. I have a double-ended eyeshadow brush. One is very, very fluffy, not very uh, stiff with the brushes. So that is gonna help me to smooth on the application all over the lid. And for more preciseness, I'm gonna use a, the stiffer side to get into those creases and those hard to reach places. Now first, I'm gonna start with this dark brown. The dark brown is gonna bring out the brown hues in her eyes and also to create the sultry look that we're looking for without overpowering it with just black. Now if you decide to use just black, then that's fine, you do what's best for you. But what's best for me right now is the brown. So you load your brush very vigorously, make sure it's fully loaded as you can see here tap off any excess and we begin to apply. I always like to hold my, my client's lids up so that I get right into the nooks and crannies. We don't have any creasing. Now moving forward towards the inner corners of her eyes, as you can see here, I've left the space for color to be added. And that's where I wanna apply this taupe, showstopper. <laughs> And as you can see, it gives a light, very light, very sexy hue on top of that brown. I'm gonna take the lightest color, which this color is called Satin Taupe. And the Satin Taupe I'm going to apply where there is no color on the eye where we stopped with the brown within our crease all the way to the, um, our eyebrow. Where you plant your, your brush first is where the most of your color is going to go. So I'm gonna start from the outer corners utilizing that initial pencil as my base, creating a very angled look. And as you can see, I'm not going over the lip line, I'm staying right within it. I'm going, to try, um, I'm going to apply this right in the center of the bottom lip. What I would like to do as well is continue to um, bring in the color from the black, making sure that there are no spaces. You guys love this. This is the completion of our makeup tutorial for how to complete our couture look. And I'm Sherilyn Marilyn of Diva Day International Glam Squad, and we're working with Nadia, the model of the day, at Club Kiss Hair Salon. 
Thank you.